crispy. Hey, what's good viewers? Today I've got the Pokemon Tomi Takara. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's the second, you know, it's the starters, second evolution or phase two, whatever you want to freaking call it. I don't know, the stage two, I think is what they call it. Pose for battle, Ivysaur, Charmeleon, and War Turtle. I've been looking for these forever, and I finally found them in a Target earlier today, and I rushed home and I did a review of them, so I can get it to you guys. It's pretty cool. I've been looking for them because they look awesome. Look at this. I think they look a little bit better than these pictures are proving to show. And then here's some of the other ones I can get. I did a review of that, so check it out. Not totally sure I'm going to buy the other figures or not. I'm not really wanting to buy them. I might if I find them at the store. Who knows? But... As for now, I got all the figures that I do want, so let's just open this up. It's hard to argue that these aren't possibly the best starters ever. You know, a lot of nostalgia behind it, you know, but overall they're just really great simple designs. I think that's what people love about them the most, and they didn't do anything too crazy. So it's great to finally have some love showing to their second stages or second set of evolutions, because we don't really get many Charmeleon, War Turtle, Ivysaur love. Usually it's just... Charmander and the, the original, you know, evolution or their base phase, and then you get the Charizards and Venusaurs and Blastoise, and, and you kind of don't get anything between. So, I'm really happy that they've decided to show some love to these uh, second evolutions here because these are really awesome. I love these characters a lot, and they kind of get overlooked a little bit, and understandably, they are in the middle. But I'm glad to see some love shown by Tomi Takara for these. Uh, these awesome characters from the game and movie and everything like that, or not show. Well, he was in a movie too, but you know what I mean. So we'll first look at Charmeleon here. Kind of put those to the side. Great overall design. I like his open mouth. Uh, I don't like the product code here on the back. But overall, I do like the design. I like the battle pose. He looks freaking awesome. Not just some static, annoying pose that they've been doing a lot lately with their smaller figures. Um, and I do like the action a lot. I really hope that Tomi Takara also does more action poses because I just if it makes it a lot more fun to for uh, for photography. What I like to do um, for one, and it just makes it more fun overall to look at and everything. Because a lot of everything else is just static poses. I am going to gripe like I had before about the articulation not serving much purpose. Uh, we'll look at the legs here. The legs are definitely meant to be in just one pose, nothing more, because the way, especially the step is right there, you can't really pose it in any other way, and it won't look right if you pose it in a way, or it won't stand right. You can maybe get away with a few things, but overall, I kind of wish they just gave it a solid mold with no articulation and just worked on a better pose. But I just wish that they focused more on the pose and less on the articulation because uh, the articulation doesn't serve much purpose. His tail moves, his arms move, but he is meant to be in this singular pose, kind of like this right here, like he just got done slashing. So hopefully you see my argument there. Now my argument comes more into play with like Ivysaur here, and hopefully you can see what I'm trying to say with the Tremulian here with Ivysaur, because if his legs were articulated, I don't think he would have been able to get this cool dynamic pose. Uh, and that's what I mean, because he's just, he's static. You can't move in his legs. And I like that, because he's in a really, really nice pose. It looks really good. I got no complaints about it. It's a great action pose for Ivysaur here. And I like it a lot. It looks good. And that's kind of what I was trying to say about the Charmeleon here. They hid the product code and everything very well. Happy about that. His head is not really articulated. You can move it, but... I mean, there's no point, and I don't, I don't want to move it anyways. Uh, we're going to move to War Turtle real quick before I say my complaint about this figure. Um, again, static poses. You can't move his legs, and that's okay. That's good, because he's meant to be in this pose. So hopefully, hopefully my clear, as I go through these figures, my argument about this is becoming more clear and more valid about how the legs should be in one pose, because it makes it easier for him to stand as well. So, because, you know, they made it to be in that pose. So they made it to stand in that pose, which should stay in that pose. Um, you can kind of move his arms and give him a little bit different looks. Like this one. You can kind of pull that off there. It looks good. And I, I'm, I'm complaining about these, but I want you to know that I actually like them a lot. 
my first impression these are very good and I, I still have a lot of love for these the molds are extremely well done and the paint uh, just like the box kind of has this old school feel to it that I like it it looks like something that I would have opened up and played with when I was you know uh, in middle school or actually before middle school and elementary school I kind of started getting out of this in middle school um, so that's kind of what I like about it. it really really feels nostalgic just the way the paint colors are and everything get a lot more light on that right there and uh, let me head to my complaint about this now the box has his tentacles I guess you can call them his vine whip his vines they come out and they perfectly are placed right there on the bulb on his back but as you can tell it didn't happen with the actual figure and it wouldn't be so bad because I kind of like this but when I opened it up it was like this and you know that's not right this shouldn't be way down here so I kind of you kind of have to move it around a little bit play with it and it's okay but it does want to go back Maybe if I keep twisting it like this, it'll kind of start to stay. I do like that as well, but I do like the way the box has it a little bit more. But I don't think I'll ever actually get it to look right. I mean, that looks okay. So, But that was a little minor complaint. You're going to have to move them around a little bit and try to apply them again. Like I showed you right there, just, just put some strain on them. Not too much strain. Don't break them or anything. But just All right, let's get into some size comparisons. There's Blastoise. D-Arts Blastoise. I've got a Charizard, I don't feel like getting them. Blastoise is really easy to grab. And here's a Tomi Takara Pikachu. So, these scale very well with D-Arts figures. And I feel like they'll scale very well with the Nendroid, Nendroid, Nendoroid figures. So they got Cynthia and they got Nendroid N coming out and they got Red that's already out. Which I have in my Detoff, I'm not going to go grab it. But I think this is a... Uh, a really good uh, scale for these figures. I don't think he meant, or when I say he, Tomi's car, I don't think he meant to scale them this way. I think he kind of just made them. I don't think he was working with D-Arts Bandai or anything to scale them, or I don't think he even took into account his old figures. But I feel like these scale very well, very proportionate, and that's a big kudos, big thumbs up for us collectors and us photographers. Overall, I would definitely recommend this figure or these figures, plural, they're about 15 bucks. I found them at Target, and uh, definitely go buy them. They're really cool. I like them a lot. Definitely a recommendation. You know, paint's overall good, and everything's good, so go buy it. Uh, also, you can check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. They have some Pokemon figures down there. I haven't seen these three at their site yet, but still fun to go check out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.